I started by constructing the cockpit first out of plywood. I used some cabinets that were built on casters and I cut them down. The instrument panel was made of plywood that I cut holes in for the switches and lights. And I made some ABS plastic squares to go around the gauge displays, make them look like real airplane gauges. The instrument displays themselves I got off the internet, they're just photographs that I printed out and then had laminated so that they'd be glossy like glass and then you could also uh, eliminate them from behind. Once the cockpit was finished I turned my attention to building the ship itself. I used uh, plywood slats stretched between the cabinets on casters to give the, the ship its shape and, and skeletal support. And that's how you can achieve radiuses. You just uh, put the slats along the curve and that gives you the rounded shape. Once the skeletal part was finished I turned my attention to skinning the entire ship with MDF, uh, I think it's quarter inch or eighth inch, I forget. It's pretty easy to work with. It's just a, a cheap wood pulp skin. They use it in theater a lot to build sets. It was a little tricky on the curves. I had to coerce it with some heat and moisture and swear words. <laughs> anyway. Once the skin was finished, I started in on the canopy. The canopy is made of plywood and two by two pine. The side windows are made of plexiglass acrylic. It was one of the most expensive parts of the build were the big pieces of plexi. I also added a little window on the top of the canopy to let light in on the actor. The whole ship didn't cost very much. It was more time than anything. The rear of the ship features three engines that I made out of uh, chlorine buckets. Swimming pool chlorine buckets, just painted silver. I put lamps inside that are triggered from switches inside the cockpit. You can actually turn on all three engines with switches in the cockpit. I added a booster, which is a halogen torch lamp in the middle, so you can flare it up. The laser cannons are made of black ABS tubes with strobe lights. I cross drilled them to kind of give them a machine gun like look as well as let some of the light through. Anyway, that's my spaceship. Thanks for watching.